the Justice Department has reached an historical health care fraud settlement pharmaceutical giant, with pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline. The drug maker will pay $3 billion for encouraging the use of Paxil for children under the age of 18 and pushing Welbutrin for uses other than major depressive disorder, even though they weren't approved to do so. The company also admitted to not telling the FDA about two studies on cardiovascular safety related to the diabetes drug Avandia. GlaxoSmithKline has broken a record it wishes it hadn't. The U.S. Justice Department said the British drug maker had pled guilty to criminal charges and agreed to pay $3 billion. American All government officials described the punishment as the biggest the ever. Today's multi-billion dollar settlement is unprecedented in both scope and size. It underscores this administration's firm commitment to protecting the American people and holding accountable those who commit health care fraud. Glaxo vowed that it had learned from its mistakes. In a statement, Chief Executive Andrew Whitty said, whilst these originate in a different era for the company, they cannot and will not be ignored. For pharmaceutical companies, aggressively promoting a drug can make the difference between a mediocre seller and a blockbuster. Glaxo's disgrace may serve as a warning that over-enthusiastic marketing comes with a risk for the companies as well as their patients. Pending court approval, the agreement should resolve allegations that the British drug maker broke U.S. laws in the marketing and development of three of its major drugs. Washington claims the size of the settlement is unprecedented. Healthcare fraud is an epidemic that touches every aspect of our lives. And yet, for far too long, we've heard that the pharmaceutical industry views these settlements as merely the cost of doing business. That's why this administration is committed to using every available tool to defeat health care fraud. In marketing these drugs and others as well that are incorporated into the civil settlement, GSK Salesforce bribed physicians to prescribe GSK products using every imaginable form of high-priced entertainment from Hawaiian vacations to paying doctors millions of doctor, uh, dollars to go on speaking tours to a European pheasant hunt uh, to tickets for Madonna concerts. Anywhere between 50 and 100,000 diabetics uh, had unnecessary, unneeded heart attacks uh, or death due to the drug of Andia. This drug hurt a lot of people. GSK CEO Sir Andrew Whitty released a statement saying, I want to express our regret and reiterate that we have learned from the mistakes that were made. GSK says it has removed employees who engaged in misconduct and also admitted to paying kickbacks to doctors who prescribed their drugs, everything from vacations to Hawaii to European pheasant hunts.